Good morning children, Saira. Children, in the previous video, I have explained you about the colligative properties of the dilute solutions. I have told you that colligative properties are the properties of dilute solutions which depend only upon the number of moles of solute present in the solution but they do not depend upon the nature of solute. I have told you there are four colligative properties. The first one I have already explained to you that was the relative lowering in vapor pressure. Relative lowering in vapor pressure means when a non-volatile solute is added to a pure solvent, the vapor pressure of the solution is lower in comparison to the pure solvent. I have explained you the reason also why this thing happens. And at the end of the previous video, I have given you two numericals to solve. Now, today first of all we will solve those two numericals. After that, we will proceed with the second colligative property that is elevation in boiling point. Now, first of all, we will have to solve the two numericals that I have given you. Now, the first question that I have given you was... The vapor pressure of water at 20 degrees Celsius is 17.5 mmHg and the lowering in vapor pressure of sugar solution is 0.061 mmHg. Now what you have to calculate is three things you have to calculate. The first thing is relative lowering in vapor pressure. Now children you all know that relative lowering in vapor pressure that is this P naught A minus P S upon P naught A. It is equal to the lowering in vapor pressure that is P naught A minus P S upon the vapor pressure of pure solvent A. So it will be equal to 0 0.061 upon 17.5 as it is given in the question. So uh, by calculating this you will get 0.00348. This is the relative lowering in vapor pressure. Now the second thing that you have to calculate was the vapor pressure of the solution that is the value of PS you have to calculate. Now see PS will be equal to the vapor pressure of pure component A minus lowering in vapor pressure. So pure component A vapor pressure is already given to you that is 17.5 and the lowering in vapor pressure also is given to you that is 0 0.061 is equal to 17.439 mm HD that is mm of mercury. Now the third thing you have to calculate in the equation was the mole fraction of sugar and water. Now you all know that relative lowering is equal to mole fraction. So mole fraction of component B that is the solute. So the mole fraction of component B will always be will again be 0.00348 and that of component A we can calculate using the formula where zeta a is equal to 1 minus zeta b so subtracting from 1 you will get 0 0.9965 this is the value of zeta a now you should know that there is no unit for zeta that is mole fraction unit is not there for mole fraction okay your first question is done now the second question that i have given you in the previous video was a solution is prepared by dissolving 30 gram of a non-volatile solute in 90 grams of water. The vapor pressure uh, uh, is it is given to you that is 2.8 Kelvin uh, sorry kilopascal at 298 Kelvin and at the same temperature the vapor pressure of pure water is also given to you and what you have to calculate is you have to calculate the molar mass of the non-volatile solute. Now you know P naught A minus P S is equals P uh, sorry this relative lowering in vapor pressure that is P naught A minus P S upon P naught A is equal to zeta B. B is here. Uh, I'm sorry. Yes. B is also there. 
this is zeta b is equal to wb upon mb into ma upon wa how this uh, came this i have already explained in the previous video now putting the values we get 3.64 is the, uh, is the vapor pressure of the pure solvent a 2.8 is the vapor pressure of the solution divided by again p not a is equal to 30 is the given mass of solute and the molar mass of solute we have to calculate the molar mass of solvent as it is water so it will be 18 and the given mass for water is 90 now solving this you'll get the value of mb to be 26 gram per mole so now we can now start with the second colligative property and the second colligative property in your syllabus is elevation in boiling point now before explaining you the elevation in boiling point i want to know how many of you know what is the meaning of boiling point see most of the time children tell boiling point is that temperature at which liquid starts boiling but see this is not the correct definition you should not explain boiling point like this instead you should all say boiling point is that temperature at which the vapor pressure of the liquid becomes equal to the atmospheric pressure when I, uh, I was explaining you the term vapor pressure that time also I have told you boiling point boiling point is that temperature at which the vapor pressure of a liquid becomes equal to the atmospheric pressure now see what happens when a non volatile solute is added to a pure solvent the vapor pressure decreases and to reach 1 atm suppose the atmospheric pressure is 1 atm more amount of energy is required that means more temperature will be required to reach 1 atm suppose you are having two containers one which is having pure component a that is solvent only now solvent is boiled uh, it is kept on a bunsen burner it is boiled it boils at 100 degrees celsius what does this mean it means at 100 degrees celsius the vapor pressure of this becomes equals to 1 atm now suppose if some, uh, if some non volatile solute is added to that solvent then on the surface layer some of the particles will be of that non volatile solute due to which the vapors the solvent will not be able to convert into vapors as i have given you the example in case of vapor pressure as it is not able to convert into the vapors that means the vapor pressure will decrease now the vapor pressure at 100 degrees celsius that is at the same temperature at which the previous solvent was previously the solvent was boiling now at this same temperature it will not become equal to 1 atm more amount of energy is required to con uh, to uh, bring the vapor pressure to 1 atm this energy difference is called the elevation in boiling point if you're not able to understand i'll explain you with the help of a graph now see this graph carefully here uh, <clears throat> here it is vapor pressure this side it is vapor pressure and this side it is the temperature now children you all can see when the liquid is present in the form of a pure solvent here it is the line for the pure solvent when it is in the form of a pure solvent when temperature is increasing this side when temperature is increasing the vapor pressure of the liquid is also increasing at this temperature at this temperature here at this temperature the vapor pressure of this pure solvent becomes equals to this line that is 1 atm it corresponds to 1 atm now as at this temperature it is becoming equal to 1 atm that means this is the boiling point of this pure solvent i'm sorry yes this is the boiling point of the pure solvent now if suppose 
some non volatile solute is added to that then at the same temperature at the same temperature the vapor pressure will not be equal to this instead it will be lower because of the lowering in vapor pressure by adding a non volatile solute now when temperature is increased the graph moves up that means uh, as the temperature is increased the vapor pressure is also increasing but now at this temperature it is not becoming equal to 1 atm instead more amount of energy is required and at this temperature it becomes equal to 1 atm now this line of 1 atm is reached by supplying more energy that means more amount of temperature more amount of energy is required so this energy difference between the two lines this delta tb is termed as the elevation in boiling point when does elevation in boiling point takes place when some non volatile solute is added to a pure solvent now this elevation in boiling point delta tb will be written as tb minus t not b where tb will be the temperature at which the solution boils and t not b will be that temperature at which the solvent boils here t not b is less and tb is more is that clear to you all hope you all must have understood now see as i told you this elevation in boiling point is a colligative property as it is a colligative property that means it is directly proportional to this what is this what does small m indicates molality so delta tb is directly proportional to molality now delta tb removing the sign of proportionality a constant comes that is kb so it becomes now delta tb is equals to kb into m m is the molality and kb is the molal boiling point elevation constant that means the boiling point elevation constant for one molal solution here m is molality don't consider it to be molarity one molal solution now see uh, this kb is also sometimes called the ebullioscopic constant remember it is ebullioscopic constant now see with the help of the colligative properties what we are ultimately calculating yes the molar mass of the non volatile solute so with the help of this colligative property also we are going to calculate the molar mass of the non volatile solute now see determination of molar mass of non volatile solute now as i told you delta tb is equals to kb into m now extending m what is m molality molality is number of moles of solute upon weight of solvent in kgs now number of moles can be written as wb upon mb weight of solvent written in grams so multiplied with 1000 on the upper side so it becomes mb is equals to kb into wb into i'm sorry it was 1000 not 100 1000 divided by delta tb into wa now children your second colligative property that is elevation in boiling point is complete now on the basis of this i'm giving you two numericals which are for the homework do try to solve the numericals and in the next video we will also solve the numericals but before that you should try now children kindly note down the two questions which are for the homework the first one is 
boiling point of water at 750 mm hg is 99.63 degree celsius that is the boiling point of pure water p not sorry delta uh, sorry this is t not b is given to you now how much sugar is to be added to 500 g of water that means wb you have to calculate and as the name of the solute is given here that means mb you should be knowing what will be the value of mb it is the molar mass of the non volatile solute non volatile solute is sugar the molecular formula is c12h22o11 and what will be the molar mass you can calculate now so mb you can calculate using the mo uh, molecular formula for sugar wb you have to calculate it is how much sugar is to be added how much sugar is to be added that means you have to calculate the value of wb uh, to 500 g of water wa is given to you and you have to boil the liquid at 100 degree celsius so using these information you can solve this question now using that same formula for determination of molar mass using the boiling elevation in boiling point now one more question is there for you that is this you kindly note down the question an aqueous solution of 2% non volatile solute listen children i'll tell you what is the meaning of 2% here see 2% means 2 g of non volatile solute present in 98 g of water that means the value of wa wb are both in this 2% wa is 98 plus 98 g and wb is 2 g now you read the question solve it yourself next video will be solving the same and will be proceeding with the third colligative property that is your depression in freezing point thank you saram have a good day